Right, key commands. Let's get this done. Okay, now what is a key command? Well, a command is anything that lives in a menu. Whether it's a menu that exists on a local menu bar above each editor or in the main logic prior menu, and that includes also transport functions like forward, rewind, etc. Okay. Um, now, we're not good, like, you know, as I've emphasised all the way through these tutorials, we're not showing you every possible thing, and it's the same with these key commands. We're not going to show you every possible key command. And there's two good reasons for that. One, because there are so many possible commands that could be assigned to keys or combinations of keys that there's no actual way in any sensible <laughs> in any sensible world that you could assign combinations of keys to cover every possible command in all the editors. And then even if you could, how could you possibly possibly remember them all? Also, a, a lot of these functions in these menus we're not going to use at all. And some of them we'll use rarely if at all. So, you know, a lot of these functions are just simply not needed to, to complete a full song to any standard, you know. Like with all the rest of these tutorials, we're going to show you the basics that you need to get working and to improve your workflow. Okay, and there's another good reason that we can't show you all the possible key commands, and that's because they're assignable. You can make them anything you want. Okay, now Logic gives you a whole bunch of them out of the box by default, but because you can assign any command to any combination of keys, um, there's no way to show you all of them because they can be anything you want. Okay, so that's that's another reason. Now, in the process of these tutorials, we showed you quite a few already. <coughs> we showed you that the I key toggles the inspector column. We showed you that the Alt C combination opens closes your colour picker. We showed you that um, B toggles the media column on the right with the bin tab selected or that Alt L toggles the same media column but with the library tab selected. Um, when we looked at markers we showed you that the right and left angle bracket keys, that's the comma and full stop, steps you forward or backwards in either direction a bar at a time and that if you've got any markers living along the top here that if you then hold, hold down control and use those same angle bracket keys you're stepping through the available markers in any direction Okay. Um, what else do we show you? Oh yeah, A is track automation on off that toggles that uh, Z toggles the auto track zoom which basically once activated automatically zooms the selected track making the contents much easier to see okay that's Z okay um, I'm sure there were some others we showed you some um, marker commands like uh, creating markers deleting markers and opening your marker list etc now don't worry I will I'm going to show you all you know the, uh, a whole bunch of really useful and fundamental key commands now, but don't worry about you know um, writing them all down because I'm going to make a I'm going to put a text file online when this chapter is uploaded, and you can just download that text file with those key commands and print it out, and then you can have it by your desk and learn them. Okay, so don't bother writing it down. Okay, so. How do we get into our key command dialog box? Well, it's a master preference. In other words, it's a preference pertaining to the whole of Logic as a program rather than to individual projects so or songs. So we go to the main Apple Logic Pro menu, Preferences, and there it is down at the bottom, Key Commands. We can also access it with Alt-K by default, so let's do that. Alt-K. and Hey presto, there is our key commands dialog box. And it's quite a big one, isn't it? And the reason for that is there's a hell of a lot that goes on here. And there's a, there's a lot of things to do. Now, the first thing to notice up here on the top right is that there's this search box for the key commands. 
And uh, you might be asking yourself, well, why do I need a search box to search commands? You know, well, I'll show you why. Here are the here are the categories, right? Which are all closed at the moment. But let's just open up one global commands. Uh -huh. <laughs> look, look how many there are. Look at it. I mean, there's hundreds. And that is just your global commands. That's just one of the categories. And you can see some of them are assigned already, see, by default. Um, if yours are not set to default, just do options, initialize all key commands. But if you've spent ages setting up your own key commands and you already know this, then don't do not do that. I mean, you know what we're talking about already. Because you'll just initialize all your key commands. But look, you can export and import them as well. And copy commands, etc. OK, show. Here's some that are already assigned. Uh, record, obviously. Play. Pause. Stop. Whoops. Um, the one we just mentioned, rewind and forward, which was the left and right angle bracket. But in the key list here, the key column, they're displayed as comma and full stop. But if you just think of the rewind and forward functions as the left and right angle bracket rather than the comma and full stop that are on the same keys, it makes it easy to remember that they are rewind forward because it's a pair of arrows kind of thing pointing in either direction, right? OK, so that's why you need a search. Now you can take your time and actually browse through these and you'll discover a lot of useful default key commands but if you are having trouble finding a command that you want to assign a key to or discover its key command use the search box that's why it's there because there's just so many possible commands and the thing to remember with this search box is it's not like a web search engine or something you can't search for phrases um, you, the best thing to do is search for just one key word so if you're looking for some type of zoom function just type in there zoom and every zoom command in any of the various categories will be displayed to you all right so that's what how you use the search okay so let's now look at some of the other basic fundamental key commands that will be useful to you and also how to create some other ones that are very useful and um, once you've learned that principle, you'll be able to create any that you want. Um, OK, let's get on with that.